Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the broadcast UAPB Sports Network and your UAPB Golden Lions preparing to take on the Jackson State Tigers. And the first game, Lady Lions, Lady Lions not able to come out on top, dropped one to Jackson State in a pretty close ball game. And momentarily, I'll get that score for you <laughs> in just a moment. The final score was 69-55 in the Lady Lions versus Jackson State. And again, Lady Lions in pretty good position, was in third place going into this ball game and uh, stand pretty well. Of course, that was the number one team they faced in Jackson State, but they will have the opportunity to see them again on the road. And hopefully the Lady Lions and Coach Thorne, as she mentioned, without a few people, but we'll definitely have a full team, or hopefully have a full team when we face Jackson State once again. We're about one minute outside of the tip-off here for your UAPB Golden Lions taking on the Jackson State Tigers. And we'll have the starting lineups here in just a moment. Again, the Golden Lions trying to fight their way for a conference playoff matchup and are in desperate need of a win here tonight. Coach Bozeman, Solomon Bozeman in his first season head coach as they line up to introduce the starting lineups. And we'll run through the starting lineups as well for the visiting Jackson State Tigers. They're led by head coach Wayne Brent, assistant coaches Kaysen Burke, Dr. Deshaun Dixon, and Christopher Woodall. Starting for Jackson State at the guard position, the 6'5", 200-pound Redshirt freshman from Jackson, Mississippi, number two, Ken Evans, Jr. Also at the guard position, six foot, 160 pound senior from Jackson, number three, Jonas James III. Also starting in the middle, the big man, 6'7", 225 pound senior from Pearl, Mississippi, number 11, Javius McKinnis. At guard, 6'4", 205 pound graduate student from Brookhaven, Mississippi, number 12, Darian Wilson. And starting at forward, 6'7", 200-pound junior from Sardis, Mississippi, wearing number 31, Jamarcus Jones. And the starting lineup for your UAPB Golden Lions. At the guard position, the 6'2", 190-pound junior from Headland, Alabama, number zero, Kayshawn Stokes. The sophomore guard from Pine Bluff, Arkansas, 6'4", 182-pound, number five, Daquan Morris. Also starting at guard, the junior, 6'5", 210 pounds from Memphis, Tennessee, number 11, Brandon Brown. Starting at the forward position, the 6'9", 210 pound forward. He's a junior from Davenport, Iowa, number 23, Trey Sampson. And also at guard, the senior, 6'1", 180 pound guard from Little Rock, Arkansas, number 55, Sean Williams. And of course, the Golden Lions are led by head coach in his first season, Solomon Bozeman. Assistant coaches Cameron Henderson, Brian Scherer, Dakota Brasher, and Christian Robinson. We'll take a two-minute break, and when we return, we will have the opening tip here in the H.O. Clemens Arena for your UAPB Golden Lions taking on the Jackson State Tigers. You're tuned in to UAPB Athletics on the UAPB Sports Network and on Delta Plex Radio's 99.3 The Beat. We'll be back in two minutes with the tip here from the H.O. Clemens Arena on 99.3 The Beat. We're back inside the H.O. Clemens Arena as we're preparing for the opening tip. And the starting lineup being called out by the PA announcer, Mr. Larry Williams. And of course, I'm a little bit familiar with that position as well. And again, shouts out to my guy, Tim Stubbs. Get well soon, my friend. Feel better. And again, big ball game here tonight for the Golden Lions here on Greek night. As you can hear the Greeks doing their thing in the background as we are now in the uh, student section of the gymnasium. And it is a packed house, folks. And I mean, it is a nice crowd here in the H.O. Clemens Arena for today's matchup. And again, Lady Lions falling a little bit earlier, 69 to 54, I believe was the final score of that one. And we'll see if the Golden Lions can get a win here. Yes, sir, as we prepare for it, 
a fantastic electric atm atmosphere here inside the H.O. Clemens Arena. And I'll tell you what, folks. It was a great ball game earlier. As we prepare for it. Game number two of this double header. And we're just about ready to get underway. Trey Sampson will jump for the Golden Lions as they have number 11, Javius McKinnis, to jump for the Tigers. All right, folks, we are underway here as Jackson State controls the tip. And they will have the opening possession. Daquan Morris will pick up James. Jonas James the third. He swings it to Ken Evans. He's picked up by Kayshawn Stokes. Evans, hands off. And that is James driving to the left side, held by Daquan Morris. Drives toward the middle of the lane. Tries to give it up, and it is a turnover stolen by Daquan Morris into the hands of Brandon Brown. And here comes the Golden Lions. Swings it over to Sean Williams. Takes a three, and it is short. Trey Sampson with the rebound. Swings it to Daquan Morris. He'll slow it down and set up the play. Brandon Brown looking for a screen from Sampson. Goes to the left side, spin moves toward the lane, swings it out to Morris. He takes the three, and it is good from way downtown. Daquan Morris for three, and the Golden Lions are on the board first. They lead three to nothing. Just underway here from the H.O. Clemens Arena. It's Jackson State taking on UAPB. Inside move, swings it to number 31. This is Jamarcus Jones, and the basket is good. And here comes the Golden Lions. Kayshawn Stokes on the right side, swings it back out top to Sean Williams. Williams, crossover, pulls it back out. Wanted to dish it to Sampson as Stokes stumbles a moment, gets it out to Brandon Brown. Brown inside to Sampson, not able to handle it. Daquan Morris slams it home on the rebound and the putback. Daquan Morris, Pine Bluffs, very own. Golden Lions with a 5-2 lead with 18-15 here in the first half. Swings it over. This will be Evans. Held by Stokes. Evans back out top, looking inside. Nothing there. Swings it back across court into the hands of Darian Wilson. Wilson looking somewhere to go with it. Throws it, and almost a turnover there, and it will be. That's going to be a turnover. And the Golden Lions defense showing a lot of energy here early on in this ball game. So the Golden Lions will have possession in front of their own bench. Brandon Brown will inbound. He's going to throw it in to Sean Williams, and he'll set up the play. Williams looking for more, swings it. Stokes to Williams, inside to Sampson, and it is blocked by Javius McKinnis. Here comes the Tigers pressing the issue, and the layup is good. Basket by Javius McKinnis. Made the block and was rewarded on the other end. Here's Brandon Brown. Thought about it. He's going to slow it up. Trey Sampson is going to press. Spin move. Holds it. Hard off the backboard. Rebound Jackson State. Here comes Evans. He's going to cross. Down to the baseline. Inside. Floater, no good. That was Terrence Lewis with the miss. Jackson State able to control the rebound. Wilson is going to take a three. Darian Wilson, no good. And that's got to be over the back. And that is going to be a foul on Jackson State's number 34. That is Terrence Lewis Jr., his first personal and the first team foul. Definitely want to shout out to all my good friends out listening. D. White, Mickey D. I know they're tuned in. Marquise, definitely appreciate you tuning in. As the Golden Lions lead 5-4. to four. Approaching the first media timeout, 16-40 now remaining in this first half. Kayshawn Stokes drives, and he turns it over into the hands of Wilson. Here comes Evans. 
Looks inside. Back out to James. He throws it inside. That is Terrence Lewis Jr. Kicks it out to James. He's going to take the three and knocks it down from downtown. It's James Jones the third. And that'll give Jackson State their first lead of the night. Seven to five, our score. Approaching 16 minutes. Williams swings it over to Stokes. Gets the screen from Brown. Stokes back to Williams. Back to Stokes. He's going to look inside to Brandon Brown. Brown faces up. Goes baseline. Kicks it all the way over to the far corner. Back to Stokes. Inside to Sampson. Pump fake. Spin move. Goes up. Kicks it back out. Three-point shot up and no good. Up high for the rebound is Javius McKinnis. Here comes Jackson State. James will handle it. Calls the play. As Trevante Doolittle prepares to come in for the Golden Lions. Here's James looking. Throws it out to Lewis. Back to James. Daquan Morris defending. Goes to the left side. Brandon Brown over to help. Inside to Terrence Lewis Jr. And he shoots the little half hook. And it is good. And Jackson State takes a 9-5 lead over the Golden Lions. Williams, one of the top scorers for the Golden Lions. Pure shooter. Brandon Brown gets it on the left wing. Daquan Morris up top. Back out to Brown. Brown thought about driving, pulls it back out, swings it to Williams. Williams is going to take the three and was looking for a call, but no good and no call. Rebound Jackson State. Evans will bring it up, swings it out top to James. Over to Wilson on the right wing, back to James. The handoff swings it back to Wilson. Looking inside, nothing there. Terrence Lewis. This is McKinnis with it. And he'll be defended by Brown. Great defense there by Brandon Brown. But McKinnis able to go up and under and make the basket. 14-20 here in the first half remaining. Golden Lions trail by six. Brown will set up the play up top. Being held by Lewis. Goes to the left side. A little motion going. Kayshawn Stokes with it. Pulls it out top. Swings it to Trey Sampson on the left wing. Makes a move. He's going to drive. Spin move. Pump fake. Lay up. Too strong. And no good. Jackson State rebound. James will set up near the Golden Lion head at midcourt. Gets a handoff to Evans. Evans to the right wing. Pops it back out to Lewis. Lewis is going to drive. Pulls up the jumper, and it is good. 13-5 now our score, and there's going to be a timeout on the court, and it will be the first media timeout. So we'll take a one-minute break. Our score early on with 13-35 remaining in the game. Jackson State 13, UAPB 5. You're tuning in to Go to Lion Athletics on the UAPB Sports Network and on Delta Plex Radio's 99.3 The Beat. We'll be back in a minute. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're inside the H.O. Clemens Arena, just underway here with the Golden Lions taking on Jackson State. They trail 13 to 5 with 13.35 remaining in the first half. Got off to a pretty quick start. Took the lead early in the ball game. Relinquished it at 7 to 5 and have not been able to regain as of yet. And hopefully we can. get back into this ball game. Still a lot of basketball left to play. Again, as we are really just underway here, go to Lions will have possession as Sean Williams inbounds to Morse. He'll give it back to Williams to bring it up. He'll be picked up 
Here's Daquan Morris' shot is long. Rebound, Jackson State. James will bring it up. He'll be held by Williams. And he's in a bit of trouble. Williams applying the pressure. Finally gets it away. And gets it out. Swings it to Wilson. Back over to Evans. Evans pushes off. No call. That's James. Excuse me. That's James with the floater. No good. And offensive rebound. And we got an injured player. Kylan Milton appears to be injured. As play continues. Swings it out. And here's the floater by Lewis. No good. Rebound. It's a scuffle for the rebound. Recovered by Omar Parchman. And the whistle has been blown. Both guys showing incredible hustle. Trying to get that rebound. Again, that was Darian Wilson and Omar Parchman. Wrestling for the rebound as Brandon Brown will re-enter for the Golden Lions. Also entering for Jackson State will be number 14, Justin Brown. And Brandon Brown will inbound for the Golden Lions. 12-30 remaining here in the first half. 13-5 our score. Jackson State leads at the moment. As Sean Williams brings it up, gets a screen from Daquan Morris. Morris, mid-range jumper is good. Daquan Morris knocks down the 18-footer. Ken Evans will bring it up for the Tigers. Hands off to Brown. Justin Brown looking, cut by Evans, and the short jumper is good. And that is Ken Evans Jr. with the jumper. Assist from Justin Brown. Sean Williams brings it up for the Golden Lions. Screen from Daquan. Swings it over to Brown. Brandon with the crossover. He's going to the cup. Loses control of it a little bit. And that's going to be a turnover. And we have our second media timeout of the night. Our score with 11.43 remaining in the half. Jackson State 15, UAPB 7. We'll take a break and we'll be back with more on the UAPB Sports Network and 99.3 The Beat. Back inside the H.O. Clemens Arena. 11.43 remaining in this first half. And the Jackson State Tigers lead the Golden Lions 15 to 7 here at the moment. And again, uh, fast start for Daquan Morris. He has seven points early in this ball game. Three or five shooting from the field. 50% behind the arc. And uh, yeah, that's it. Daquan Morris doing all the scoring for the Golden Lions at the moment. Golden Lions shooting 33.3% from the field, three of nine. We need to pick that up as they resume action. Here's Evans. He'll bring it up. Held by Daquan Morris on the right wing. Looks. Look at someone. Good defense there by Trevante Doolittle. Denying Brown the ball. Back to Evans. Swings to the right. Looking. Gets rid of it. This is a jumper. No good by Darius Hicks. Rebound, Sean Williams. Here come the Golden Lions. Good screen by Parchman. Picks it up. Williams pulls it back out. Swings it to Brown. Brown drives. Lay up, up, and no good. Rebound, Jackson State. 
Here comes Justin Brown for the Tigers. Swings it over to his teammate on the wing. He's going to drive, loses control for a moment, able to regain. Back out top to Evans. Evans gets the screen, screen from Wilson. He's going to look inside. Gets it to Hicks, held by Parchman. Swings it back out to Justin Brown. He's going to take a three in his way off. And they're screaming air ball, but it didn't nip the rim, but way off on the jumper. Re-entering for the Tigers, number three, Jonas James, and number 11, Javius McKinnis. So the Golden Lions with an opportunity here to chip into this eight-point lead. Just under 10 and a half minutes remaining in the first half. Williams will set up the play. Swings it over to Brown on the left wing. Out top is Doolittle. He gets it. Looks for Williams. He's going to drive to the left side. Pump fake goes up, and he's blocked. Gets his own rebound and pulls it back out. It'll be knocked away by Jackson State. Possession remains Golden Lions. And again, Golden Lions in need of a win here as they push toward the final stretch of their conference schedule. Doolittle inbounds to Williams. Williams pulls it back out top. He's going to pull it. The jumper is no good. Omar Parchman with the rebound. He goes up strong. No good. Rebound, Jackson State. Come the Tigers with James handling the rock. He'll be held by Morris. Sets up the play. Kicks it out to Justin Brown. A switch, Omar Parchment on him, kicks it back around, throws it inside. Brandon Brown with the defense. And the hook is no good. Rebound, Golden Lions. Here they come. They're going to press. Brandon Brown looking, goes up strong, has it blocked. Gets back up, goes up again, and makes the basket. Brandon Brown with the strong move, offensive board, and the putback. 15-9 now our score. Jackson State leads. Approaching nine minutes remaining in the first half. Williams holding Evans. Swings it over to, check that Williams holding James, swings it over to Evans. Evans held by Doolittle. Gets it into Hicks. Hicks is going to take the jumper, and it is no good. Offensive rebound by Darian Wilson. He kicks it back out to James. James being held by Williams. Crosses over. He's going to take it to the middle of the lane. Loses it momentarily. Kicks it out to Brown. Shot clock down to seven. Brown takes it to the cup. Layup no good. Rebound. Omar Parchment. Here comes the Golden Lions. Trevante Doolittle swings it up through the hands of Daquan Morris. And that's going to be a turnover. Kayshawn Stokes re-enters for the Golden Lions. A.J. Stradick seeing his first action of the night as Lewis re-enters for Jackson State. And Malachi Weidman entering for Jackson State as well. Full court press by the Golden Lions. And getting it in to Weidman is Evans. Weidman brings it up court. Looking for one of his guards. Great pressure there by Trevante Doolittle. Almost a turnover there. Lewis able to get it to bail him out. Evan, excuse me, James will set up the play. James drives to the right, stops, pull the left-hand jumper in and out. The putback, no good. Another offensive rebound and stripped up again offensively and finally rebounded by Trevante Doolittle. And here comes the Golden Lions. Trailing by six, Sean Williams is picked. Turnover. Here comes the press. Alley you pass, and Daquan Morris there to knock it away. And great hustle by Daquan Morris to knock that one out of bounds and save a fast break layup. 7.53 remaining in the first half. We're at our media timeout. Our score, Jackson State 15, UAPB 9. We'll be back in one minute with more Go to Lions basketball, the UAPB Sports Network, and 99.3 The Beat.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. As we have 7.53 remaining in this first half, go to Lions trailing by 6, 15 to 9 in this ball game. And the big story, especially scoring-wise for the Golden Lions, has been Daquan Morris, 3 of 5 from the field, 1 of 2 from behind the arc. He has 7 points. Only the Golden Lions scoring so far. Brandon Brown has 2 points. He's 1 of 3 from the field and has 2 rebounds in 9 minutes of action. All right, we're ready to resume action, and the Golden Lions will have possession. Morris will inbounds to Williams. And the Golden Lions will try to get a bucket here to pull within three or four. Williams gets the screen from Kylan Milton. Milton is going to take the three, and it is strong. Going up high for the rebound was Malachi Weidman. Evans, excuse me, James will bring it up on the right side near the timeline. Drives right, hands off to Weidman. Weidman with the crossover. And they're going to get Daquan Morris with the foul. His first one of the night. Also the first team foul. And that foul was called on the floor. So Wilson will inbound for Jackson State. With Gabriel, Gabriel Vargas defending on the inbound. James will bring it from the front court. He'll be picked up by Daquan Morris. Running the play, swings it to Weidman. Weidman looking, gets the screen, takes it toward the middle of the lane, and gets up. And this kid has some hops. Slams it home as Malachi Weidman. Sean Williams brings it up, approaching seven minutes remaining in this first half. Williams gets the screen from Milton. Resets, he's going to take it to the cup. Goes up and under, and no good. Rebound, Lewis. Here comes James. He's going to push. Swings it out to Weidman. Weidman steps in. And that's going to be a travel. Turnover. 17-9 now our score as Trey Sampson re-enters for the Golden Lions as Morris inbounds to Williams. Morris will bring it up. Golden Lions only shooting 23.5% from the field. Morris drives, crosses over, swings it to Vargas. Vargas out to Milton. Milton to the middle of the cup. Nice play by Kylan Milton to draw body contact and draw the foul. And that's going to be called on Darian Wilson. That's his first personal and the second team foul. As Kylan Milton will go to the line. 631 left in the first half. As Milton takes his first free throw attempt and no good. Strong off the back iron. Javante Doolittle enters for the Golden Lions. Kylan Milton with one free throw remaining. It's up and it is good. 17-10 now our score. Get it. Go to Lions, cut the lead to seven, and we'll apply full court pressure. Wilson inbounds for Jackson State. Looking for James. Finally gets it in to Weidman. And Weidman bringing it up, held by Kylan Milton. And a crazy looking shot there by Weidman. No good, rebounded by Trey Sampson. Daquan Moore should have cut. Nice move. Finger roll. No good. Rebounded by Jackson State. Here comes James. He's pressing. Looks. Thinks twice. Has a man down low. Gets it inside to Lewis, and he's able to lay it in. 19-10. Now our score. As Brandon Brown prepares to re-enter. Morris sets it up. Directing traffic is Morris. As Trevante Doolittle has it, swings it over to Kylan Milton. Milton looks for a screen from Sampson. Crosses, crosses again, goes to the lane. Pump fakes, kicks it back out to Doolittle. Doolittle backs it out. Five seconds on the shot clock. Doolittle all the way to the cup, and it is blocked off the glass. And here's Evans pushing. 
and great hustle by Daquan Morris to get the steal. And we're going the other way. Morris showing his quickness, able to get back as he will get in and swing it out to Milton. Milton back out top to Stokes. They'll reset. Coach Bozeman yells the play from the bench. Milton out to Trevante Doolittle, the three-pointer up. No good. Rebounded by Lewis for Jackson State. Evans will bring it up. Again, Golden Lions trailing 19 to 10. Four forty-five remaining in the first half. James is going to try to drive, goes left, change direction, go right, throws the oop. Nobody there for it. And the putback is no good. Another offensive board and fouled is Javius McKinnis. He was able to get a couple of boards down there. And that foul is going to be called on Trey Sampson. That'll be his first foul and the team's second foul. And we'll take a short official timeout here in the gym as have blood on the eye of one of the players. Of course, he'll have to get that taken care of. And again, the fans getting a little bit rowdy over here. As Evans will replace Lewis, who had the cut above his eye, and McKinnis will have two shots for Jackson State. Here's McKinnis' first attempt. 19 10 hour score. Make that 20 to 10. Brandon Brown, Sean Williams returning for the Golden Lions. And McKinnis will have one more. Here's McKinnis with his second free throw. It's up and it is good. So 21 10 now our score. 435 remaining in the first half. Brandon Brown will bring it up for the Golden Lions. Sets it up. Hands off to Kayshawn Stokes. Stokes gets the screen from Milton. Swings it over. Excuse me, swings it over to Brown. Here's Brandon Brown taking it to the cup. Back out to Kayshawn Stokes for three. A little bit short rebound, Jackson State. This is Weidman with the rebound. And Evans will set up the play. Swings it over. Dribbles over to his left. Back out top. Down inside. Here's the cutting Weidman, and he makes the basket. McKinnis finding the cutting Weidman. And now the lead is 13, 23 10. And Sean Williams swings it to Kylan Milton, fakes the pass, takes it to the lane, kicks it back out to Kayshawn Stokes. Stokes drives, goes to the cup, and he's going to draw a foul. And that foul is on number 12 for Jackson State, Darian Wilson. And that's going to be his second personal and the third team foul. Media timeout on the court. Our score, Jackson State 23, UAPB 10. We'll take a break and be back in one minute on the UAPB Sports Network and 99.3 The Beat.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as you hear the M4 pep band playing in the background. A little action going on with the fans. I think they have a couple of the Jackson State players rattled over here. As we have 333 remaining here in this opening half. Low scoring contest here early. 23 by Jackson State, 10 points by the Golden Lions. And typically, you'll see more points on the scoreboard. So both teams kind of off to a slow start. But Jackson State able to shoot 45 and a half percent from the field. And the Golden Lions only 19 percent, 16.7 percent from the three point line. Kayshawn Stokes will have two shots as we resume action. First free throw is up and no good. A little bit strong on the free throw. But Stokes will have another coming up. Here's Stokes. Second free throw is good. 11-23 now our score. Golden Lions applying full court pressure. Looks like his man. Man-to-man -man defense as Evans brings it up. Here comes the double team and cross-court pass. Williams feels as Weidman will try to drive, pushes off, and is able to make the bucket there. 25-11. Brown is going to press. He's not going to waste any time. Draws body contact. And he's going to draw the foul. And that's on Malachi Weidman. That'll be his first personal in the fourth team foul. And that's exactly what you want to see. If your jump shots are not falling or you're not getting your shots to fall, then you have to take the ball to the basket. And that's exactly what the Golden Lions are doing at the moment. It's Brandon Brown headed to the line. First free throw is up and good. 12-25 now our score. 3-11 remaining in the first half. Brown's second shot is up and it is good. Big free throws there by Brandon Brown. Go to Lions 13, Jackson State 25. This is Evans bringing it up. Defended by Kayshawn Stokes. Hands off to Brown off his leg and a great pressure there by Daquan Morris. Kylan Milton able to get it, puts it up. Not sure if that's going to be a shooting or on the floor. But that foul is called number 14. That's going to be Justin Brown's first and the fifth team foul. Trevante Doolittle re-enters for the Golden Lions. And Terrence Lewis Jr. re-enters for Jackson State. Williams will inbound, kicks it out to Brandon Brown. Comes to the ball, gets it, goes to the cup, pump fake. Hands off to Daquan Morris. Not able to get it. And the tie-up by Daquan Morris. Great effort there by Morris. Again, as he leads all UAPB scores with seven points. Shooting 50% from the field and from behind the arc. Inbound by Weidman for Jackson State. Full court pressure by the Golden Lions. Kayshawn Stokes will face up against James. Here comes a double team from Doolittle. He gets a hand on the ball, gets it down to Evans. Swings it back. Evans on the right wing. Here's the double team by Stokes. Back out top to James. Inside to Lewis. And great ball movement there by Jackson State. It's Javius McKinnis able to finish it off with a dunk. 27-13 hour score. 220 remaining in the first half. Williams looking for a screen. Swings it all the way to Stokes. Stokes takes it to the cup. Floater is good by Kayshawn Stokes in the lane. 15 27 hour score. Full court pressure. Doolittle. Holding Evans. Evans drives up the right side. Here comes a double team. Throws it inside to Lewis. Lewis throws a floater up and makes the basket. Williams will bring it down. Swings it to Brown. Left side back to Williams. Williams makes a move. Screen by Morris. Brown floats it up. No good. And here comes Jackson State. Weidman will have it. Stutter steps. And that is going to be a blocking foul on Trevante Doolittle. 
that would be his first one and the third team foul. Omar Parchment re-enters for the Golden Lions. And the foul was called on the floor. So they will inbound from the baseline. Kylan Milton enters for the Golden Lions. And we have a stoppage. And we have a few issues here with the fans and the visitors bench. And once again, Again, as you can see, that, and it could cost the Lady Lion, the Golden Lions here, as you see Athletic Director Chris Robinson over now, making sure everything is everything. Fans get a little rowdy, but of course you want to see them support their Golden Lions, but you want to do it in a positive manner. So 29-15, our score with 129 remaining here in the first half. Jackson State inbounds. Here's Evans. He has it. Swings it out to James. Sees a man wide open inside is Lewis, and he misses the layup, but is able to get his own rebound and tip it back in. 31-15. Now our score. Sean Williams brings it up. Gets a screen from Parchman. Pulls it back out. Swings it to Milton. Milton gets a screen from Parchman. He's going to pull a three. Kylan Milton shots too strong. Rebound. Evans for Jackson State. He'll bring it up the right side. Looks, swings it to James. James down to Wyman, drives, and runs out of places to go and just throws it off Morris to maintain possession. Under a minute remaining now here in the first half, 49.9 seconds. With our score, Jackson State 31, Pine Bluff 15. Inbounds to McKinnis. He's held by Parchman. He's going to drive to the right. Step, layup is up and good. And that was Javius McKinnis on the basket to give Jackson State a 33-15 lead. 30 seconds remaining in the first half. Of course, you want to stay tuned at halftime. We'll have your updates and stats. As Kylan Milton goes baseline, draws the contact, no call, and the shot is off. Rebound, Jackson State. Parchman tried to get it there, but he's going to be called for the foul. That's going to be Parchman's first foul. That would be the fourth team foul for the Golden Lions. Trey Sampson re-enters for Pine Bluff as Justin Brown re-enters for Jackson State. And again, the Golden Lions with full court pressure. Whiteman will inbound for Jackson State. Swings it to James. Here's the trap. Milton gets it up to Wyman. Wyman will press. He will press down the middle of the lane. Shoots it. No good. Rebound. Kylan Milton. Here come the Golden Lions. Four on five break. Milton is going to take it strong to the basket. Kicks it to Sampson. Sampson brings it back out. Down to Kayshawn Stokes. Nice look by Sampson. And Stokes able to capitalize right before the buzzer. And that concludes the first half of action. Our score after one, Jackson State 33, UAPB. 17. We'll take about a five minute break, and when we come back, folks, we'll give you stats, updates in the ball game. As again, the Golden Lions trailing 33 17 to Jackson State. We'll be back in about five minutes. You're tuned in to UAPB Athletics on the UAPB Sports Network and on Delta Plex Radio's 99 3 The Beat. We'll be back in a moment. We're back, ladies and gentlemen, as we prepare for the second half. And let me do this. I didn't do that in the first game in the ladies, uh, Lady Lions basketball game. Shouts goes out to Desiree McKenzie, 
uh, McKinney, excuse me, McKenzie, Shasta Gully, um, Sean Howe, and Kimon Frazier. As my man Randy Kelly is handling the production duties over there, the technical aspect of the ball game, doing a great job. Definitely appreciate all of our camera people, as I just named. And for this game, we have Desiree McKenzie, Sean Howe, and Kimon Frazier handling the camera duties, and my man Randy Kelly handling the switching. All right, folks, we're ready to start. UAPB will have possession here, trailing 33 to 17. And Daquan Morris will set up as we are just on the way here in the second half. Swings it to Sampson. Sampson over to Stokes. He's going to set up, looking for Williams. He's being denied. He'll finally get it. He's going to pull a jumper. The shot is up and good. Son Williams knocking down his first shot of the second half. And his first shot of the game. Now one for four from the field. Stokes holding James. And here's the play. James is going to dribble to the right. Faces up. He's going to drive baseline and to the right side. Left hand layup. And the basket is good. With the foul being called on Kayshawn Stokes. That's his first personal foul and the first team foul of the half. So the basket is good, and James will have an opportunity for a three-point play. Shoots the free throw, and it is good. Jan Jonas James, the third, with the shot. Brandon Brown inbounds to Sean Williams. Williams will call the play. 36-19 now our score, just underway here in the second half. Williams will be held by Evans. Here's the double team. And almost traveled there. Sampson back to Williams. Back to Sampson. Going to run the play. Looking for Stokes. Out to Daquan Morris. Thought about it. Here's the cut by Sean Williams. Loses the handle into the hands of Trey Sampson. Throws it up and almost makes the basket. But he will go to the line. Foul is on number 11. That's Javius McKinnis. His first foul. And the team's first as well. Trey Sampson will go to the line for two. Sampson's first free throw is up and no good. Off to the right. He'll have another shot. 36-19 our score. 18-50 remaining in the game. Sampson's second shot is up and good. Go to Lions trail by 16 with 18.50. Remaining here in this second half. Only about a minute and a half into this second half as Evans brings it up. He's going to throw it inside to Wilson at the top of the key. Wilson across the middle to Evans. He's going to drive down low, goes all the way around the basket, goes back toward the front of the rim and misses everything. And right there for the putback rebound is Javius McKinnis. 38-20 now our score. Brandon Brown pressing off his foot into the hand of McKinnis. Over to Evans. Throws it up for McKinnis. The alley-oop is missed. Put back up and no good. And that foul is going to be on Brandon Brown. That's his first foul. Second team foul. as Jamarcus Jones was fouled on the putback. He'll have two shots. First free throw is up, and it is no good. Very strong on the free throw. Kylan Milton re-enters, along with Omar Parchman. as Jones will have one free throw remaining. And the second shot is up, and he knocks it down. 39-20, now our score. Williams will bring it up for the Golden Lions. He'll be picked up by Evans. Parchment with the screen to the right. Switch off. 
Swings it over to Stokes. Stokes drives toward the middle of the cup. Up strong and knocked away. Daquan Morris with the rebound. He tries to put it back up and it's knocked away. Possession remains Golden Lions. 11 seconds remaining on the shot clock. And the Golden Lions will inbound. Stokes out to Morris. Morris takes the three-point shot at the top of the key. No good. And runs into his own teammate. But the foul is going to be called on number 31, Jamarcus Jones. That's his first personal. That'll be the second team foul. As Terrence Lewis returns for Jackson State. Williams will inbound under the basket. Fresh 22nd shot clock. He kicks it in to Morris. Morris, pump fakes. He's going to drive. Pump fakes again. Goes up. Strong off the glass. Put back Omar Parchman. Nice rebound and put back by Parchman. Jackson State wasting no time. Three-point shot by Evans is no good. Rebounded by Lewis. He's going to go up. Clutch shot. Misses. McGinnis able to get the rebound. Puts it up no good. And Daquan Morris comes down with it. Presses out to Williams. Across to Kylan Milton. Goes to the cup. Off the glass. And it is good. Kylan Milton with the bucket. And the Golden Lions now trail 39-24. Approaching 17 minutes remaining. Full court press. Looking for the double team. Gets it across midcourt. Here's Evans going to drive to the cup. Shoots the shot. No good. Lewis with the rebound. And kicks it back out to Evans. They're going to reset. Swings it. Motion play. Evans to Wilson. Drives. Throws it inside to Lewis. Lewis, he's going to be called for the offensive foul. Great job there by Kylan Milton to draw that foul. And Lewis will pick up his second of the night. That's going to be the third team foul. As the Golden Lions get possession. Williams will bring it up. He'll be picked up by Evans. Double team. Swings it in to Morris. Scoop shot is good. Daquan Morris off the assist from Sean Williams. 39-26 now our score. Jackson State leads. Go to Lions trying to chip away at this lead as Stokes will pick up Evans. Excuse me, James. James on the right wing, left wing, excuse me. Evans with a long three-point shot and knocks it down from way downtown. Tigers take a 42 to 26 lead. Approaching 16 minutes, Daquan Morris, pump fakes, gets up and he's gonna be hacked. And he's hit in the head and he's in a little pain as he's slow to get up. Foul is gonna be on number 12. That's Darian Wilson, and that's going to be his third. That'll be the team four foul. Daquan Morris will go to the line and shoot two. First free throw, no good by Morris. As Trevante Doolittle re-enters for the Golden Lions. He'll replace Sean Williams. Morris, second free throw is up, and it is good. 27-42 now our score. Jackson State leads. Approaching 16 minutes. Here's the double team. Full court press. They swing it down. Wilson will take a three. No good. Hard. Rebounded by Lewis. And Jackson State controls the offensive board. Swings it back to Wilson. He's going to take another three. And it's going to be short this time. Another offensive rebound by Lewis. Swings it out to James. And that is the struggle for the Golden Lions being out rebounded. As that was Javis McKinnis. And he's fouled by Trevante Doolittle. That'll be Doolittle's second foul and the team's third as we hit our media timeout. Our score with 15.35 remaining in the game, Jackson State 42, UAPB 27. We'll take a one-minute break, and we'll be back with more Golden Lions basketball on the UAPB Sports Network and 99.3 The Beat. And we're just about ready to resume action. 
as the Golden Lions trail 42-27. 15-35 remaining in the ball game. Has picked it up, though. Now shooting 30.3% from the field. Of course, at the half, it was at 22. So making improvements there. Still only one for seven from behind the arc for 14.3%. As the, the Tigers will have possession underneath their own basket. Evans inbounds to McKinnis. Back to Evans. He gets it out to James. James is going to set up the play. Goes to his left side, swings it down to Wilson. Check that. That's Evans, defended by Doolittle. Evans going to the cup, shoots a floater, no good. Gets his own board and puts it back. And that is Ken Evans. 44-27 now our score. Morris will bring it up for the Golden Lions. Williams preparing to re-enter. Here's Daquan Morris. Fakes it to the hands of Kylan Milton. He's handling it. Back to Morris. Back outside to Milton. They'll reset with about seven seconds remaining on the shot clock. Milton to the bucket. Reverse layup is good. Kylan Milton with a nifty move. And the reverse layup, it goes. 29-44, now score with Jackson State leading. Have an injured player on the court, and that is number 11, Javius McKinnis for Jackson State. And he'll be replaced by Darius Hicks. Sean Williams also re-enters for the Golden Lions. And Jackson State will inbound. James will walk it up, call to play. He'll be defended by Daquan Morris. Over to Evans. Held by Williams. Out to Hicks. Back to James. James is going to drive. Shoots the floater in the middle of the lane, and it is good by Evans. Check that by Jonas James. Morris brings it up, goes to the middle of the lane, swings it out to Williams. Williams spins, slows it down, resets. Here's the double team, swings it to Parchman. Parchman ripped from behind, and Evans will have it for Jackson State, slows it up, kicks it back out to James. Jackson State slowing it down a little bit as they lead 46-29. James, the matchup with Parchman. Kicks it out to Wilson. Back to James. Ten seconds remaining on the shot clock. Gives it to Wilson. Inside to Lewis. Lewis shoots the short floater. No good. Strong. Tips it back out. And Jackson State again with another offensive board. Thirteen ten remaining in the game. Evans dribbles to his right. Swings it back to James and tipped by Daquan Morris. Wilson has it. He's going to step inside. Swings it to Lewis. Lewis turns, shoots, and knocks down the turnaround. Kylan Milton has it. Swings it to Brandon Brown, who's going to press. To the cup. Swings it out to Daquan Morris. He's going to take the three, and it is no good. Rebound, Jackson State. James will walk it up to court. Again, holding on to a 48 to 29 lead. As we approach 12 and a half minutes remaining, Golden Lions going to have to have some stops, some turnovers here to get back in this ball game. Evans, and there is one, not able to handle it, and it goes out of bounds. Possession, Golden Lions. Kayshawn Stokes re-enters for the Golden Lions. Daquan Morris now with 10 points for the Golden Lions, leading and scoring. 4-10 from the field. As Sean Williams brings it up, he'll be picked up by Evans. Screen by Milton. Gets it to Milton. Milton's going to take a three, and that's short. And again, one-shot possessions for the Golden Lions. Jackson State with the rebound. This is James, throws it inside to Lewis. Lewis makes a move, swings it out to Wilson. Check that, that was Evans to Wilson. Inside to Lewis. Lewis pump fakes. 
Back out to Evans. Long three-point shot by Evans. No good. Rebounded by Brandon Brown. And it is stolen by Hicks. Three-point shot by Wilson. No good. A struggle for the rebound. And Brandon Brown ends up with it. Tries to throw it up court. And again, wrestling for the ball. And Jackson State out hustles UAPB. And they will get possession. James brings it across court. 48-29 our score. Approaching 11-15 remaining. Motion offense. James hands off to Evans. Evans will pull out, reset the play. He's held by Kayshawn Stokes. Drives to the left side. And he's going to be fouled by Omar Parchment. And that will be Parchment's second foul and the team's fourth. We're at a media timeout, folks. 11.03 remaining in the ball game. Go to Lions Trail 48-29. We'll take a break and be back with more on the UAPB Sports Network and 99.3 The Beat. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, inside the H.O. Clemens Arena with 11.03 remaining in this ball game. Go to Lions. Trailing 48 to 29. Needing some big stops and some big buckets to get back in this ball game. Still plenty of time to get back in it. Just definitely gonna have to have some stops. And some made baskets. Jackson State will have possession as we resume action. They will inbound with Evans underneath the basket. Looking for someone, kicks it way out top. And Hicks able to handle it. Evans will set up the play. He's been held by Vargas. Here's Weidman who re-entered, held by Kayshawn Stokes. Tries to kick it inside, and defense able to get a hand on it. But Jackson State still able to control. It's Wilson from way downtown, and no good. And again, another offensive board by Jackson State as the shot clock resets. Evans to Weidman. Whiteman down inside to Hicks. Whiteman will get it back. He's doubled. Makes a move toward the bas baseline and has it stripped. But a foul called on Omar Parchman. And that's going to be his third foul and the team's fifth. And the foul was on the floor. As Daquan Morris reenters. He'll replace Kylan Milton. Wyman will inbound for Jackson State. Swings it to Evans, being held by Vargas. Vargas and Evans. The back cut by Wilson, being held by Williams. Lewis gets it in the middle, pulls up around the three free point, excuse me, free throw line. Rebound Golden Lions. Here comes Sean Williams. Approaching 10 minutes remaining in the game. Parchment with the screen. Williams pulls it up, shoots, and it is good. Son Williams for two. Starting to pick it up a little bit now with four points. Two of five from the field. And again, Daquan Morris only golden lion in double figures with 10. Yes, Evans swings it over to Wilson. Back to Evans. Thought about a three-pointer. Kicks it back to Wilson, inside to Lewis. Lewis loses it momentarily, gets it back. This is Evans with the short jumper, no good. Lewis with the rebound, blocked by Omar Parchman, rebounded by Kayshawn Stokes. And stolen by Evans to Weidman. He throws it inside. Vargas getting a piece of the ball. But he's going to be called for the foul. That will be Vargas's first foul. And it'll be the team's sixth. And it was in the act of shooting. So Ken Evans Jr. Let's check that. That will be Terrence Lewis Jr. at the free throw line. So Lewis will have two. As again, Jackson State leads 48-31.
First free throw by Lewis is no good. He'll have one shot remaining. And Lewis will have one shot here. And it is up, and he knocks the second one down. 49-31. Jackson State leads. Williams brings it up. Gets the screen from Parchman. He's going to be doubled. Swings it over to Morris. Morris takes it to the cup. Short floater, no good. Scuffle for the rebound. Hicks comes out with it for Jackson State. Evans will bring it up. Picked up by Vargas. Evans drives, swings to the corner. This is Weidman for three, no good. And last touched by the Golden Lions. Jonas James re-enters for Jackson State. As Evans will inbound. Long pass across to Weidman right here in front of the scorer's table. Wyman swings it back out to James, over to Lewis, back to James, down to Evans. Evans thought about a three, throws it inside to Lewis. Hook shot, no good. Last touch by Jackson State. 8.37 now remaining in the ball game. 49-31 our score, Jackson State leads. As William inbounds to Morris, he'll get it back. Sets up the plate. Parchman with the screen for Williams. Switch off. Williams going to pull a deep three, and it is no good. Kayshawn Stokes runs down the rebound. Here's Williams again. Sets up. And Williams throws it down low. Kayshawn Stokes with the first layup. Nice bucket by Kayshawn Stokes off the assist from Sean Williams. 33-49. Jackson State leads. Weidman will have it. And it's tipped by Vargas. He's going to race to it. And, and that's going to be Golden Lions basketball. Last touch by Jackson State. Timeout on the court. It is a media. Our score, Jackson State 49, UAPB 33. We'll take a one-minute break, and we'll be back with more exciting Golden Lions basketball on the UAPB Sports Network and 99.3 The Beat. We'll be right back. We're back inside the H.O. Clemens Arena as we are just about ready to resume action. And again, our score, Jackson State 49, UAPB 33. And the Golden Lions picking it up a little bit, but still need more stops. And the rebound discrepancy has probably just been the biggest issue for the Golden Lions here tonight. Jackson State now with 34 rebounds. The Golden Lions picking it up a little bit now with 20. And we're back underway here. Kayshawn Stokes has it. Gives it to Vargas. He'll set it up. Vargas thinks about here is Williams cutting. Kicks it out. This is Stokes for three and knocks. No, check that. That's a two-pointer. That is a two-pointer by Kayshawn Stokes. And the Golden Lions pull within 14. James swings it over to Evans. Down in the corner to Hicks, back out to James. He's going to drive, kicks it out to Wilson. Wilson fakes it, throws it in to Lewis. Lewis with the floater, no good. Rebound by Hicks. And the foul is going to be called on number one of Jackson State. He was grabbing of us. So that foul is called on Hicks. Darius Hicks, his first personal. And that'll be the fifth foul. Do not 
and again having some issues with some of the fans and and their home fans. I'm not sure if they realize that UAPB will be penalized for anything that's done by our home fans. So uh, hopefully the fans will take heed and don't want to cost us the ball game as we're trying to claw our way back into this ball game. 49-35 our score with 7-11 remaining in this second half. And we'll see what the official call will be. And here's the official call. And it's going to be an administrative technical foul called against UAPB due to the fans throwing things at the players and on the court. And again, it's been tough enough for the Golden Lions here tonight. Don't need any additional roadblocks. And the official. And again, the administrative technical against the Golden Lions due to the fans actually throwing things onto the court, water bottles. And it's one thing to heckle the players, but it's another thing to actually throw things at them and things like that. That's, that's just too much. So Lewis will shoot the technical for Jackson State. And he misses. And it will not be a team foul there. So Jackson State only with four team fouls. And the Golden Lions will have possession. Williams will inbounds to Vargas. Again, they'll try to chip away at this 14-point lead. Vargas being picked up by Lewis. Mismatch there in speed. He'll swing it over to Williams. Williams gets the screen from Parchman. Here's the double team. Williams looking. Gets it to Stokes, who comes back to the ball. Over to Vargas. Six seconds on the shot clock. Vargas crosses. Nice pass. Nice look. But intercepted by Hicks, but not able to hold on. It goes out of bounds. One second remaining on the shot clock. Let's go to Lions will maintain possession. They're inbound underneath the goal. So the Golden Lions will have to do something very quickly to get this shot off. And it's going to be a foul called on Hicks. Darius Hicks called for his second foul. And that would make the fifth team foul. And it gives the Golden Lions a brand new shot clock. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Golden Lions able to reset. Still need to move it pretty quickly. Sean Williams drives. He's going to pull it back out. Swings it over to Vargas. Inside to Parchman. Pump fakes. Omar Parchman slams it home. 37-49. Golden Lions trail by 12. 6-20 remaining in the ball game. Here's Evans right in front of the scorer's table. He'll swing it back out top to James. Over to Wilson. Back out to James. He's held by Vargas. Gets the screen from Lewis. Throws it inside to Lewis. He misses. Rebound. A fight for the rebound. Scuffle. Chased down by Kayshawn Stokes. Here comes the Golden Lions. Under six minutes now remaining. Vargas held by Evans. Williams makes a cut. Nothing there. Kicks it out to Parchment. Back out to Daquan Morris. Morris slows it down. He's going to set it up. Williams with the screen. Morris. A couple of moves there. The high floater. No good by Morris. Rebound, Jackson State. Here's James. Swings it over to Evans. James out to Wilson. Back over to Evans. He's going to take the deep three-pointer and knocks it down. And that's going to be a timeout called by Jackson State, I do believe, with 5.17 remaining in the ballgame. 
52-37 our score. We'll keep it here. As again, the Golden Lions trying to chip away at this lead. We're able to get a little bit closer. And the technical, the administrative technical foul. And, and actually, this will be a media timeout due to the first timeout being called here in the second half. So let's take a one-minute break. When we return, we'll have more Golden Lions basketball on the UAPB Sports Network and 99.3 The Beat. We're back here inside the H.O. Clemens Arena with 5.17 remaining in the ball game. Go to Lions Trail, Jackson State, 52 to 37. And the Golden Lions will have possession as we resume action here on Greek night at the H.O. Clemens Arena. Vargas will inbound to Williams. And they'll try to chip away again with five, just over five minutes remaining. Double team swings it to Morris. Morris looking, there's Vargas, reverse layup, no good by Vargas, tip in by Morris is good. 39-52, five minutes remaining. Stokes picks up James full court. As James gets it across half court, right here in front of the scores table, held by Stokes. James is gonna drive, pulls it back out, swings it to Evans, nearly stolen by Williams. Evans going to shoot another deep three-pointer and knocks it down. So Evans with another deep three-pointer to give Jackson State a 55-39 to 39 lead. Stokes in the corner, out to Vargas, out to Williams. Couple of dribbles, looks inside, slips through the defender, and it'll be knocked out of bounds by Jackson State. Darius Hicks returns for Jackson State as Sean Williams will inbound for the Golden Lions. 418 remaining in the ball game. Here's the inbound play. Williams kicks it out to Vargas. Williams gets it back in the corner for three and misses. And knocked free by Daquan Morris, but it'll travel out of bounds. Possession belongs to Jackson State. Brandon Brown returns for the Golden Lions. He'll take Williams. Wilson will inbound for the Tigers. Full court pressure by the Golden Lions. Inbound goes to James. He'll be doubled in the corner. Gets it away to Evans. Evans throws up. The alley-oop, and it is no good. Goes out of bounds. Possession, Golden Lions. And Pine Bluff needs to capitalize on this possession as, again, time is winding down, approaching four minutes remaining in the ball game. As Brandon Brown will bring it up center court. Gets a screen from Morris. Brown pushing, pressing, shoots the jumper, and it is good inside the lane. Count the basket, the hoop, and the harm by Brandon Brown. And that foul was on number three. Jonas James, his first personal in the sixth team foul. Immediate timeout here, 55-41 hour score, Jackson State on top. We'll take a one-minute break, and we'll be back with more UAPB basketball on the UAPB Sports Network and 99.3 The Beat. Fifty-five forty-one is our score here at the H.O. Clemens Arena. It's Greek night. Jackson State leads UAPB with 353 remaining in this ball game. And again, Golden Lions not able to get their shots to fall, only shooting 11% from behind the arc and only 37% from the field. And as compared to Jackson State's 45% from the field, 37.5% from behind the arc. Brandon Brown will go to the line for the Golden Lions as he will have the opportunity for a three-point play. And there's the shot, and it is no good. Free throw off. Kayshawn Stokes able to get a hand on it. 
but James able to control it for Jackson State. Kicks it out to Wilson, down to Lewis, and back over to Evans. Evans will set it up. And good defense there to steal by Kayshawn Stokes and Daquan Morris. He's up and slams it home. Daquan Morris with the big slam. 43-55. Now a 12-point game. Golden Lions right here in it. 320 remaining in the game. Need a stop here. Evans to the cup. And it is stripped by Parchman. And another turnover by the Golden Lions. They get it out front to Brandon Brown. Swings it to Daquan Morris who goes up. And he's going to be hacked hard. Again, Daquan Morris, a high flyer, Pine Bluff native. He'll go to the line for two. And the foul called against Jackson State's number one, Darius Hicks. It's going to be his third personal and the Morris will have two, 310 remaining. First free throw, no good. And that's been kind of a thorn in the side of the Golden Lions as they need every single free throw to cut into this lead. Morris will have one shot remaining. And the shot is up and rattles out. No good. Brown hustles for the rebound to no avail. Here comes Jackson State. Evans to Hicks. Hicks down to Wilson. Back out to Evans, and James will get it and reset. Trap defense. And a steal by Brandon Brown. He's going to go all the way. Should have been a foul there, appeared to be. Brown goes up strong and finishes at the rim. Brandon Brown. 45-55, now our score. Golden Lions within 10, full court pressure. Here's Evans bringing it up court. He's going to swing it down to Hicks. Hicks looks inside to Lewis, back out to James. They're going to reset, use as much clock as they can. Play shot clock down to about 12. Double team, here's Lewis in the lane, shoots the floater. No good, rebound Daquan Morris. Golden Lions can cut it to eight or seven on this possession. As Brown gets caught in the air and turns it over. Bad decision there by Brandon Brown. Got caught in the air. Stokes will defend. James swings it to Evans. Down to Hicks. Hicks trapped under the goal. Great defense there by Omar Parchman. With the block shot. Travels out of bounds. And the Tigers will keep possession. Sean Williams re-entering for the Golden Lions. Ten-point game. Golden Lions trail 55-45. 1.48 remaining in the ball game. Need a stop here or a turnover. Stokes will defend James. Shot clock now down at four. Throws it inside. Defense gets a hands on it. Evans and Parchman throws it out of bounds. Shot clock violation. Great defense by the Golden Lions. And they have opportunity to chip into this lead. 137 now remaining in the ball game. Golden Lions fighting all the way to the end. As they will let it roll. Vargas picks it up. Sets up the play. Parchment with the screen. Vargas looking for Williams. He's going to cross take, drops it in to Parchment. Parchment with the layup, no good. And Jackson State rebounds. Here comes the double team. James over to Evans, out to Lewis. And James will set up. He's going to attack, throws up the alley oop. Hicks goes up and grabs it, pulls it back down, and pulls it back out. James has it. And that's going to be a foul called on Kayshawn Stokes. His second on the night and seventh for the team. Jonas James, the third, will head to the line for the Tigers. And he will have a one and one. 
shoots the front end, and he's able to make the front end of the one and one to earn himself an additional shot. Fifty-six forty-five. Now our score. Go to Lions trailing by eleven. Here's James with his second free throw, and misses. And offensive rebound by Hicks. And another foul by Kayshawn Stokes will send James back to the line. Let it be Stokes' third personal in the 18 foul. So Brown will replace Parchman, and James will shoot another one and one. First free throw is up and good, so he makes the front end. Has one shot remaining. 59.7 seconds now remaining. 57-45, now our score with Jackson State on top. James with the free throw, and he knocks it down. Timeout Jackson State with 59.7 seconds remaining. Jackson State leads 58-45. We'll take a break, and we'll be back with more Golden Lions basketball on the UAPB Sports Network and on 99.3 The Beat. Wow, there's a steal. And Jackson State steals it as we resume action. Now down to 45 seconds left in the game. And it will D him up, and Brandon Brown will be called for the foul. And that will send Ken Evans to the line. That's Brown's second foul and the 19th foul. And again, as still having issues with the fans behind us, Javante Doolittle re-enters. Fifty-eight forty-five is our score. As Evans will shoot the one and one. Evans' free throw is good. So he knocks down the front end. He'll have one shot remaining. 42.3 seconds now remaining. And in the post game, of course, we'll talk with head coach Solomon Bozeman as Evans is able to knock down second free throw. Brown brings it up. Swings it over to Doolittle, and a bad pass there. And it's going to go out of bounds. Possession goes to Jackson State. So the Golden Lions will try to get back on track on the road this weekend as they will travel to Alabama, Montgomery on Saturday. And on Monday will be in Huntsville, take on Alabama State and Alabama A&M, respectively. As the time winds down, 60-45 is our score. Jackson State leads by 15 as we approach 15 seconds. Shot clock down to seven. So they're going to have to take, and that's going to be a foul, offensive foul against number 12, Darian Wilson. That's going to be his fourth. Golden Lions will inbound on the far sideline, about three quarters the way up the court. Vargas will bring it up. Ten seconds remaining. Vargas goes to the cup. Passes Daquan Morris. He lays it in. Assist by Vargas. And Morris scoring his 16th point of the game. And that should just about do it, folks. And that is it. Our final score, Jackson State 60, UAPB 47. We'll take a break, folks. And when we come back, we'll hear from, we'll check that. 
Yes, sir. We'll take a break, and when we come back, we'll hear from Coach Solomon Bozeman on tonight, tonight's matchup against Jackson State. Our final score, the Tigers of Jackson State 60, UAPB 47.